Oh, oh, I got some bad news for the RTX 40 series and a 13700K was overclocked to 6 gigahertz. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a powerful online platform from which you can create your website fast and easy. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through members only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. Not only that, but Squarespace allows you to truly create an online community through the use of its powerful blogging tools, ability to display social media posts right on the website, and extensions to help you manage inventory, promote products and streamline bookkeeping. So if you're interested in a great website creation tool and you'll want to support the channel, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash graphically challenged to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, so first let's go ahead and start off by talking about the RTX 4070 Ti because there's been some new information that's been leaked over on Twitter about this GPU. Now this information comes once again from the leaker cop 7 Kimi and here's what he had to say about the full 8104 die. Quote, as I have mentioned before, there's an 8104 SKU with a 400 watt limit. PG141-SKU331, a full fat 8104 with 7680 FP32 cores and 12 gigabytes of GDD r 6 x running at 21 gigabits per second. It can easily match an RTX 3090 Ti. So this is definitely some really interesting information and I actually do find it very, very disappointing and here's why. So originally we were thinking that the RTX 4070 was going to have 12 gigabytes of VRAM and it was going to have a lot lower power consumption, but as more and more information leaks, if this does turn out to be true, well then according to things that Comp87 Kimi has said, it looks like the RTX 4070 is more likely going to be a 10 gigabyte graphics card with a much more cut down 160 bit bus which is definitely going to hurt its graphics performance and like I mentioned in the previous video that I just put out it looks like it's going to end up actually getting around 10,000 points in time spy extreme which means that it's not going to be quite as fast as an RTX 3090 Ti and it's more likely going to be around an RTX 3090 so yes that's definitely unfortunate when it comes to the RTX 4070 as I think a lot of people were hoping for that full 12 gigabytes of VRAM now the good news is it looks like a full 8104 die does exist and it is going to have 12 gigabytes of VRAM, but unfortunately, the 4070 Ti is likely going to cost more money, and on top of that, it's going to come at the cost of some serious power. It looks like 400 watts for the full 4070 Ti, which is absolutely insane for a 70 class GPU, and honestly, guys, I'm not even entirely sure whether or not the GPU itself is going to actually draw 400 watts, or whether or not it's just an absolute limit for the card itself, because 400 watts for a 70 class is starting to sound a little bit outlandish. Now, there were some talks about the RTX 4080 pop possibly being over 400 watts, and we all know that the RTX 4090 is likely going to be over 400 watts, probably 450 watts as well, but to get 400 watts out of a 70 class GPU is absolutely ridiculous, and the only thing that would make this actually make any sense, and I, I guess I could see this happening, is that, well, maybe they're actually getting a little bit panicked about not really having something between the 4080 and 4070, so they're going to go ahead and roll out the 4070 Ti, but the die itself is too small to compete with whatever AMD has waiting, so they're going to have to go ahead and overclock the bejesus out of the RTX 4070 Ti to improve its performance significantly and allow it to compete with whatever AMD has waiting in the wings. So I think that's probably going to end up being the case if they don't want to cut down the 8103 die further to create a 4070 Ti. That's probably the reason as to why they're doing this. But honestly, guys, I find this very disappointing because I really was hoping for a 4070 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM coming in at a reasonable cost and bringing us much more reasonable power draw. But now let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 4090 because it looks like we have some more information about the 4090 that's going to be a little bit disappointing to some of you because according to Cop87 Kimi, if you take a look at his latest tweet here, we can see that he does mention that the RTX 4090, if everything goes to plan, should have 72 megabytes of cache. Now, to some of you out there, 72 megabytes of cache is definitely going to sound like a massive improvement over what we got on the RTX 30 series, but unfortunately, it is a step down to what we were actually expecting because previous leaks did say that the RTX 4090 Ti or the full 8102 die was going to end up having 96 megabytes of cache. So, yeah, that definitely does mean that the 4090 is going to be significantly cut down from the 4090 Ti, which hopefully will have that full 96 megabytes of cache. Now, even though 72 megabytes of cache is a significant cut down, I do think that we have to remember it's not going to be all that bad because if you compare it to the RTX 3090, which only has 6 megabytes of L2 cache, well, that's actually a 12 times increase in the amount of cache. And getting 12 times the amount of memory in the RTX 4090 is definitely going to be a massive improvement when it comes to its memory bandwidth. So I don't think we should panic too much 
much, but it is going to be a little bit cut down. And the Twitter user Harokaze actually did put together a little list here explaining how this is possible and why it's not going to be 96 megabytes of cache. And I think he did a really, really great job here. So if you want to pause the video and take a look at this, I do highly suggest you do so. And I will have all my sources linked in the description below if you want to read more on that sort of stuff. And I do suggest you take a look at it. And overall, guys, it's starting to look like NVIDIA is trying to separate the 4090 from the 4090 Ti a little bit more because if you take a look at the specs itself, well, the 4090 Ti is going to have 14% more cores at 18,432 versus the 16,128 found on the 4090. It's also likely going to have a higher boost clock somewhere around like 2.6, 2.65 gigahertz, which would give it probably around 6% higher boost clock than the 4090. And the 96 megabytes of L2 cache would actually give it 33% more cache than the RTX 4090. And additionally, it should have 14% more memory bandwidth with 24 gigabits per second GDDR6X versus the 21 gigabits per second you're likely to see on the RTX 4090. But now let's wrap this video up by quickly talking about the 13700K because we got a whole new leak that shows the 13700K being overclocked to 6 gigahertz. Now I do want to get a disclaimer out here guys. There is a possibility that some sort of advanced cooling was being used and we don't know about that but if this does turn out to be true and it can hit 6 gigahertz with a little bit of overclocking that's going to be pretty exciting for the type of single threaded performance that you can see out of the 13700K. Now I do want to say I believe it is possible because if you take a look at these CPUs if you punch a bunch of voltage into them you can get a couple cores to boost really really high in lightly threaded workloads so I could see this being a reality if you're running something like a single threaded test but as for doing multi-core stuff or even gaming it probably won't be this high but regardless of that it looks like it was actually able to score 983 points in CPU Z which actually does put it around 16% higher performance than the i9 12900K at 5.2 gigahertz so that's actually a pretty massive increase and very exciting to see and hopefully the rest of Raptor Lake is able to achieve those super high clock speeds but only time will tell again maybe there's a chance that they're using some sort of LN2 or something crazy like that so we're just gonna have to wait and see whether or not Raptor Lake is really gonna be a big increase over Alder Lake but hey that's just what I think what do you think the specs for the RTX 4070Ti are really gonna be let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.